Hello with another quick guide for Baldur's Gate, this time on location in the beginning of Act 2, the Rosimorn Monastery and the Mystery of the Blood of Latander. The traveling part are sped up to not waste your time, so begin starting at waypoint and go in using the side window. You need to break up the rubble where I am pointing to get inside, there you will have to fight Gremishkas, which aren't that strong, just don't use magic on them and you will be fine. Proceeding from the room, don't forget to pick up potion of animal speaking recipe. After you do that, you can proceed to the trophy room. You will need to put four weapons on the pedestals to obtain the Dawn Master's Crest. So let's go over the locations. The Warhammer is on top of the monastery and guarded by owls. I have tried multiple solutions to resolve it peacefully with them, but it's best to just fight and pick up the hammer after they are defeated. Because they won't let you enter their nest without entering combat. So just defeat them and take the hammer from the spot I am pointing at. Now leave the top platform using the other side from whence you came from. You will arrive at the closed door protected by a spell. To enter the room and get the battle axe, you need to clear the rubble from the side and enter the room. When you pick up the axe, you will get attacked by the guardian and will need to defeat him. When you do that, you can go for the last weapon. This one is easy, but can be a little bit confusing. There is a grave not far from the protected door, but inside is only a rusty maze. Not anything ceremonial. After reading the letter, you get to know that the rusty maze is exactly what are you looking for. So pick it up and go back to the trophy room and put the weapons as seen on the screen. This will open a hidden cabinet and inside the pouch is the Dome Master Crest. That's part one of the chase for the Blood of Latander. For the part two we need to go to the crash. To get there you can take a monastery basement road. Before heading for the crypt, stop at the infirmary to pick up a grease bottle as it will be useful later. Then go to the inquisitor's room, but do not talk to him. Instead, go to the west side of the room. Turn the right statue so it faces east. That is easy enough. To move the left statue, you need to use a grease bottle or anything to make the surface greasy to unstuck it. After that, turn it to face west. This opens a hidden door, so go through it and enter the gate. Once inside, you need to destroy three crystals and disarm two traps. Two of the crystals and both traps are easy enough as they are visible so you can just shoot them down or disarm them. The crystal for the middle door, however, is hard to target. I found it is best to use Gale's magic missiles as they can target pretty much anything. After you destroy the third crystal, there is one last step you need to do to get probably your first legendary weapon. When you reach the case with the Blood of Latandre, put the Dawn Master's Crest you found in the first part inside and the weapon is yours. Hope the guide helped you and see you next time.